in promoting youth activism and social movement, Action Aid Nigeria hosted the Regional People Power Forum in Abuja. The event brought together West African activists and social movements to strengthen relationships and foster pan-African solidarity. Zainab Akogun reports. Africa continues to grapple with some of the highest extreme poverty rates in the world, with 23 of the globe's 28 poorest nations recording poverty levels above 30 percent. In response, Action Aid Nigeria convened West African activists, social movements, and organizations to foster share awareness and peer learning, while providing a platform for stakeholders to chart actionable paths towards addressing the region's social economy and political challenges. In his opening remarks, Andrew Mamedou, Action Aid Nigerian's country director, underscored the forum's role in combating erosion of democratic values across Africa. He expressed concern over shrinking civil liberties while further compound the region's social political crisis. We know that the answer to this is to build a social movement of Nigerians. Our target is to get 10 million Nigerians active social movements involved in this struggle in Nigeria to develop a shared awareness of the nature and character of crisis and popular resistance in West, resistance in West Africa to facilitate experience sharing and power learning among acti activists, movements and organizations in the region um, to strengthen, to strengthen movements, movement to movement relationships and build active Pan-African so solidarity for to identify common issues to develop a unified regional agenda for social transformation and the fifth is to promote joint actions to address social political challenges across west africa following these activists from across africa engaged in discussions to address shared challenges including insecurity and poverty they called on youth to unite and take collective action to bridge governance and social justice gaps. It's, it's about solidarity building, coming together, joining hands together. Don't say, oh, I'm not in support of this, or I'm not in this movement, so I'm not going to join. What we are saying is let's come together. Let's understand. Let's have one goal. If you want the um, African continent to work, if we want our economy to work, we need to come together as one. We need to have a goal. Maybe today we want the government to fix the finance, especially funding our education, because when there is better educational system in the continent, the continent will move on. Educating someone is the major key for transformational development. So we are saying that let the young people demand for their right to education, and the government should also fund the basic education, and not leave it for just the private people to privatize it, which becomes more expensive and less available to the mere person or the mere African person that cannot afford this private education. Africans, especially our leaders, would consider especially the young people of Africa and also ensure that there is a, they actually observe the right to a life of dignity where Africa develops like other continents and also where we see rights protected and also our young people living up to expectation. That is the kind of change that I envision. There is a lot to learn from Nigeria because Nigeria has that big broader scope for all African countries. So I'm ex I expect to learn a lot and also adopt some good practices that I would be sharing with people in the Gambia. Having social groups who come together to join forces, identifying all our uh, points of pains and speaking to them directly is one of the ways that we can have uh, a huge movement, a, social, a huge social movement that is going to create change that we desire. The forum underscored the urgency of collective responsibility and cross-border collaboration in addressing Africans' pressing challenges while inspiring a new wave of solidarity and unified efforts. Zainab Akogun, reporting for Captain TV.